how do we get these aircraft up in the air? Because when we now start this mission, the two-seater will be here, but it will do absolutely nothing. Because there's nothing that tells it to, to take off and go anywhere. So we need some event to uh, to make it happen. Well, the most easiest way of doing that is using the begin mission begin translator. It's here in the list. Click here and here. Doesn't matter where where it is; just has to be somewhere on the map. Um, as of the latest version, you can use this mission begin several uh, times, which is quite uh, quite helpful actually. Now. Is that this is uh, when this condition is met, when the mission has, has begun, we have to tell this plane to do something. To do what? To take off. Okay, so let's look at command here, which does that. Here's a command take off. Put it here. Again, it doesn't matter exactly where it is, it's just the command. Let's connect it with this object so we know it belongs to this object. It's actually possible to have m a multiple of our objects connected to the same command. So when this command will be executed, it will be applied for all other objects. But in our case, it's just the, the one two seed. Now, when the mission begins, I want to give the command to take off. So we say find target and click on the command take off. The red line is a trigger line, and the green line is means is connection to uh, to an object. So. If the mission now starts, mission begin, this, this condition is met, and it will trigger off the command to take off, the aircraft will roll and take off in the air. But there it will just fly in circles because it doesn't know what to do next. So we have to tell him uh, somehow that it needs to go to this waypoint. So we need some kind of condition so we can trigger off uh, the, next, the next move. How do we do that? Well, if we double click on this object, this aircraft, we'll see now here's an uh, events table. And we can add several events to, to trigger new actions. So if we click on add event, you'll see a whole list of interesting events, like when a pilot gets killed, or the plane gets is, is crashed, or uh, destroyed or on plane took off. Hey, this is interesting. On plane took off. If you select this one, it means that when the plane is took off, this condition is met and we can we can trigger some next uh, some next action. Now what action we want to trigger? Click on find target. We want to go to the first waypoint and it's this one, 1262. So we double click here and say OK. And say OK again. And now we'll see that there is a purple line going from the object to this first waypoint. And that's the line, it's, that's the event uh, took off which triggers this first waypoint. So uh, keep in mind when you do this, you sometimes need the, the number of the object you want to trigger. So in this, uh, in this case, uh, there were not many in the list, but you have to, to look it up first, like 1262, and then you can find it in the table. So now, mission begins, the aircraft will then take off, when it has took off, it will trigger the event, took off and go here, activate the waypoint, the aircraft will fly to this waypoint, which activates, which tr triggers off this waypoint, and activates this waypoint, and it turns this waypoint, and here, and here, but here it will stay again and fly in circles, because it has no idea what to do next. So we need to tell it to land. Okay, we can do that by using the command land. It's here. I put it on the place we want the object to to land. So somewhere on this airfield. I'm not sure how this works anymore because I think in the past you could actually set the direction uh, how the aircraft should land by rotating this this icon. See the yellow line points in the direction, but I don't. As far as I know, it doesn't work anymore, and it uses another direction. Perhaps the direction that the aircraft took took off. I'm not, I'm not sure how it works anymore, to be honest. But anyway, it has to be placed on the airfield. Of course, it has to be connected to the object. So find object. Go here. 
and it has to be triggered. So let's take the last waypoint, say find target, click on it, and now it will be triggered. So when it aircraft reaches this last waypoint, it will triggers off triggers off the command land and it will land at this airfield and when it has landed it will uh, yeah disappear but that's the end it has done its duty okay um, by the way there are several ways of, of triggering of, of actually making the trigger so I've yet now used the find target button but let's say let's delete this trigger you select it and click delete click delete you could also say click the waypoint double click here and you will get the list then again of course you need the number or the name of that command double click and you'll also see the trigger connection appear okay we now have a, a serious mission because when we start the game the two seater will take off and fly fly about fly uh, through this uh, this path and we can take off in our little fighter and try to intercept it and shoot it down now as you can see the things can um, can be quite can look quite complex because of all the lines all the all the connections and there are ways of, of dealing with that there's some op op some little buttons here you can actually hide some of these lines here the object lines disappear here the target lines and there's more like arrows so if you think it's it's a bit uh, you know unreadable, you can use any of these these buttons. Okay, that's it for now. We have created an actual an actual mission, and we have uh, an aircraft that's uh, flying about.